December 2nd and we got our first snow yesterday into today. Pretty crappy stuff, very wet crust on top, probably two inches here. And uh, we need to get the um, SS-18 ready for winter duties. So our mission today is to put this giant Haven blower on it. This one, 48, adapted to fit a Suburban. So, got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. This will be about a, I don't know, two month cold start. finest this is good shit if you're not using this you're doing it wrong never fails all right we're gonna give that a minute to warm up and we're gonna get some other parts ready all right so the deck's off of it and obviously we're inside see if we can get it to thaw out a little bit carbs run a little bit funny so i might mess with that a little bit but that's kind of a low priority right now so I was trying to figure out what my plan was as far as tires and weight and that sort of thing. I thought about putting the ag tires off of the, um, the Suburban 10, those true powers that were originally on my SS16 years ago. I thought about putting them on because they're loaded, but I think what I'm going to do instead is we're going to run these factory turf tires, which are in pretty good shape, factory two-link chains, and then I got a set of... 55 pound concrete craftsman wheel weights. And then I think I'm gonna just come up with some sort of simple bracket for the back and just pile on some suitcase weights because I have those to use. And uh, we're just gonna do tire chains and a shit ton of weight on the back of this thing and go from there. <laughs> forward a couple days um, basically in the last part I think I was trying to go put all this together and it turned out that a couple pretty important pieces were missing from the snowblower um, so I'm just kind of go in no particular order but there's a piece that spans these two holes that this rod locks into and basically that keeps the PTO assembly um, stationary because otherwise when you go to engage the belt, the whole thing wants to slide forward. So that was missing. The rod underneath the tractor that goes from the lift mechanism to the snowblower itself was missing. And then the lift arm pipe is missing. Um, the lift arm pipe I know is around here somewhere, but I didn't feel like looking for it. So instead I went out and used my metal guy, Tony, who's the fucking man and had some pieces cut up. Um, as well as some tabs that are over there. And basically I'm just gonna make everything because that's what we gotta do. So I found this piece of rod, I think this is like 5 16 and I'm gonna see if I can't make this into the Y-shaped piece. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna cut right about here, weld this hook onto a piece of threaded rod, and then just run it straight through which works as well. So um, I'm not gonna take all the shots of the actual fab work like I did for the, the weight bracket just cause it's kind of stupid boring stuff. And frankly, I don't want this to be a 20 minute long video. So I'll just keep you updated. 
So with some help from the map gas torch, and luckily having the right piece of metal, that'll just go in there like so. All right, so after more trouble than I would have liked, we did get this PTO assembly on. I wound up having to make my own rod, giggity, because uh, the one that was on there was very bent. It was all curved and not straight and everything. And uh, you just gotta watch out for a curved rod. You need a, need a good straight rod, it won't work otherwise. But all joking aside, got the new belt on. Good engagement. Might be a little bit too tight. This idler pulley's on its way out. But it should be good enough for us to uh, test at least. So now gotta drag that thing over here and go about making the uh, lift rod for it using that tube over there on the floor and those tabs on the little chair over there. So see how that goes. The shaft engagement, giggity. Um, there it seems kind of lacking but nonetheless we're gonna give this thing a test shot and just see if it turns um, I've had this for like two years and never used it I'm told it works so we will find out This is three quarter ID tube and we needed to sleeve it down a little bit. So I took a smaller piece of pipe and hammered it in to sleeve it down. And then we welded these tabs on. Nice easy weld, it's good, it's good and thick. I left the pin in here so that we can make sure that the holes stay aligned. So this is the one that runs underneath the tractor and I'm gonna go ahead and install it. point all that's left is some carb tuning bolt the wheel weights on uh, probably lubricate the drivetrain as far as the snow blower is concerned I have to hook up the second lift assist spring and then build a, uh, a holder over here for the chute rotation so just odds and ends and stuff but it works so I'll, uh, I'll cut the video here for now and update throughout the rest of the season as uh, things continue. <laughs> 